All right, Mr. Claxons, digital electronics students, just wanted to go over this example with you here real quick. Um, try to make this as short as possible without rushing. One of those be quick but don't hurry things. Amplitude. Amplitude, when we think amplitude, we think height. The first thing that we have to look at down here is that, that Y scale, which is two volts per division. And there are one, two, and a half. So for the amplitude, the work that you might see there is 2.5 and then times, and then we've got two volts per one division. Um, now we really don't have to go that in depth. Your science teachers might like you to do that, but the amplitude's five volts. And there are different ways that you can get that. If you count by twos, I'm okay with that as well. Notice how I am using units. So two, four, and then half of four is one, so five volts. The period. Um, so here we do have to check that X scale first, which is two milliseconds per division. At two milliseconds per division, we have one, two, three, and four. Now there are times whenever this first, um, this first wave in your O scope, you may not register that as the first actual wave. It might just be a part of it. So sometimes I like to look at like a second wave or a full wave that I can see. And I can see here, we've got one, two, three, four. So we've got four times the two. So the four um, sections and then times the two milliseconds per division. And so what that gives us is eight milliseconds. It is important to use your units, eight milliseconds. Um, frequency, uh, to get the frequency, we would just, and that's a, that's a lowercase f, we show the work, one divided by whatever the period is. So that would be one divided by and then eight milliseconds. Now, it's not going to be one divided by eight. Um, what it actually is, is one divided by, and we move the decimal point back three, um, 0 0.008. Now, if you're pretty good at math, um, this is just me geeking out a little bit. Um, that's one over eight times 10 to the negative third. So if you notice here, um, we could move that 10 to the negative third up top. And that's essentially 10, it becomes 10 cubed up there. So that's 10 cubed um, divided by eight. And that, that's what it would be for the Hertz, right? So that would be 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 divided by 8. Um, and that would give you the number of hertz. Or take 1 divided by 0 0.008. You'll get the same thing. Uh, time, time high. This is where we have to really pay attention to what the scale is here. Notice how the scale is 2 milliseconds per division. So for each of these, because it's 2 milliseconds per division, um, 2 milliseconds we're going to divide that by five because there are five sections, five smaller sections um, within that division. So two fifths is 0 0.4 or four tenths. Two fifths is four tenths. Um, multiply by two, multiply by two. So each one of those is 0 0.4 milliseconds. It is very important to acknowledge that. I like to just make a note anytime this scale down here is not one, we need to go up and calculate that. That's one of the, the more common mistakes that you will see throughout this section. So I see um, the time high here is I've got two milliseconds, four milliseconds, and then 0 0.4, 0 0.8. So that would be 4.8 milliseconds. And then if I know my period, and by the way, that's time high. So T sub H is equal to 
milliseconds. Really important, really important to put those units there. Now, if time low, for time low, all I really have to do, if I wanna do some math, I could take my period, which is eight milliseconds, and subtract 4.8 milliseconds, and then we get 3.2. Um, or you could just, um, you could count backward, just so that's point, or just count up until the start of the next one. 0.4, and then 0.8, and then 1.2, so add 1.2 and 2 to get 3.2. But 3.2 milliseconds, and I am sorry about that, that, that looks ugly. Um, duty cycle, well, duty cycle, we take the time high, we're gonna take that time high, and we're gonna divide that by the period. So for my duty cycle or my DC, um, we're gonna take 4.8 milliseconds, and I'm gonna pay attention to the units to make sure my units are the same, because that's the only reason that I'm allowed to divide these um, as if my units are the same. If not, I have to convert them to common units. So because my units are common there, I can just take 4.8 um, and divide that by eight. So we get 4.8 divided by eight. So we get 60%, right? 60% duty cycle. We're gonna get 0 0.6. Now you need to multiply that by 100 or just convert that to a percentage. So that is a 60% duty cycle. So your DC is actually equal to 60%. We got to multiply by 100 there. All right, so hopefully that's going to help you out. The key part there is noticing that that X scale is two milliseconds per division and making sure that you adjust accordingly there. So thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped you out.